today I'm here with Beck and we're looking at this fabulous walker. What is this walker called? This is our Trust Indoor Walker. So they do an indoor version and they do an outdoor version, but this one's pretty special because it does have the one-handed brake. So this brake, um, as it suggests, you only need one hand to engage it. So those with various... Yep, somebody living, handing over to the physiotherapist. Yep. <laughs> So those living with uh, a strength deficit or, and that may be musculoskeletal in nature, um, so say driven from a joint or muscle condition, um, or maybe neurological in nature, so let's say somebody has endured a stroke and is living with weakness in one side now, having the ability to navigate a walker inside to help with their mobility um, in a one-handed approach because most walkers will have two separate um, handles and they you just can't navigate them in that way but like Beck said that ability to use the brake with one hand is on that then operates across the whole walker is um, a really special feature yeah it's got height adjustable handles so we can still bring these up a little bit higher for people that are taller you've got your tray and you've also got your basket um, so using around the house, um, the ability just to continue to move things to and from yep. one room to another, um, it's quite handy. Yep, and being able to be in the kitchen yeah. um, like we are here in the store at the moment, but put um, your food, plate, etc. on the table and then being able to then move across to kitchen, etc. lounge room is a really lovely feature to have. Um, nice and nimble, so quite a narrow frame of being able to manoeuvre through hallways and around door frames, um, but like we've already touched on, very much suitable for indoors, so smaller wheels, smaller frame, much more suitable for um, yeah, more indoor surfaces. Definitely can navigate carpet and small thresholds in indoors, moving say from a hallway into a bathroom but uh, not a solution that you'd be looking to walk around long distances in a, soup, um, a shopping centre, for example. Yeah, it's yeah. not designed for that. The wheels aren't designed for that. Um, and if you were to do it, they probably wouldn't last very long. So mm. that's where the outdoor version comes into its own. Yep. Fantastic. Um, there's not too much more to speak to about this one. Did you want to try and fold it? Yeah, sure. Yep. So when you do start having a device like this, it is done come in handy in life so you can actually fold it up and take it with you if you were to um, go away to places so this one here just simply the basket moves up and over and you can fold it up like so yep so it still has that ability for some portability of if you were going to a loved one's house at Christmas time or something and still wanting a nice um, portable mobility solution to then take to your loved one's house this would still be a nice option to tuck in the back seat of a car or into the boot as well. Yeah, Often people living with a mobility concern using a walker or a wheelchair that may need to be folded usually will have the support of a loved one to do so. However, people using um, mobility devices may have the ability to fold themselves. So those sorts of factors are taken into account when an occupational therapist, physiotherapist, equipment supplier is helping you choose we would like to know well, what are you going to use it for, who's going to fold it if you are taking it, then we can give you advice about the different pieces of equipment and what be what may be most suitable for all the different ways that you envisage yourself using it. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next episode.